Hello, this is Brandon Good with Fluke. Today I'm going to go over the I-900 and how you take images off the I-900 that you've taken of your uh, air and gas leak detection and then uh, put them into your onto your computer and then actually make a report. So the first step is have your I-900 on. Go ahead and take the USB cable that came with it, USB-C in the bottom, and then the USB cable and plug that into your computer. At this point your computer should recognize it. If for some reason your computer does not recognize it, just uh, turn off your i900 and cycle it back on and it should your computer should see it. Um, when you do cycle it off and cycle it back on, leave it the USB cable connected. So right here we see it in our devices. Double click, again user data, double click. We want to go into storage from what we saved. If you created folders, um, it'll be in the folder of either your department or company that you went to. Click that, now you see more folders. I recommend coming down here to the bottom. We'll see you have two different files. You got JPEGs and you got AS2. Um, we're gonna take both the JPEGs and the AS2s off of here. So select all of those and then come over here and create a new folder on your desktop. Open that up and drag and drop all those over. Now we have those on our hard drive. Um, once we have them on our hard drive, we can make our next step and actually make a report. I like to sort by type um, because we want the AS2 files for our report generator. Next, how do we do our report generator? We need to open up a browser window and go to fluke dot com and if you type leak q in the search we're gonna see some options in here and right here luke leak q report generator click that one should take us to another link we need to accept that so we can use it and now you see it says drag and drop your as2 files here okay um because you guys are watching, I'm not gonna do them all at one time, but you could do them all at one time. Let's just do four so my computer doesn't, you don't have to wait on me. Drag and drop. And then you'll see the progress bar of as they load. And uh, whatever the folder is, that's here, but you can change that if you'd like. We are here in the US, so we'll do Imperial. And what were we looking at? I was looking at air and it was much higher quantity, or much higher PSI, 125 PSI. Uh, cost of gas, we don't need that. Cost of um, kilowatt hour, let's say eight cents. Let's say, oh, .08. okay. And yeah, we'll leave that as is and say 24 hours of operation. Once we do that, you will see um, we've got a summary here. It says how much each leak is costing us. $200, almost $200 a year, 16, almost 233. And then you actually see your images down here. Okay, you can click generate report. It will then go into this print folder style. And from here, you can say save to PDF if you'd like to save it as a PDF. Um, and just click save. It'll ask you where to put it. We can put it the same place we had our images if we want. I measure test and then save. And then now we have generated our report and it should open up here didn't automatically open, so I'll open it up for you. And now we've got our report as a PDF. I hope this was helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Take care.